This video is an introduction to repeating things in R. Now, computers are great at doing things repeatedly over and over and over again in exactly the same way. So far, we've learned one of the first steps of this, which is using functions uh, to allow us to rerun code in similar ways with different input. And in particular, as the starting point for today, we're going to use one of these functions uh, that we've built in a previous lesson, uh, our function for estimating mass that we called estmass, and defined as a function that took a single argument, the volume of the plant that we'd estimated, and then we had our curly brackets to include the code that we were going to run in the function. And we've said mass is equal to 2.65 times this volume that's being provided to the function raised to the 0 0.9. And then we return that value of mass to the outer code. And I'll go ahead and define this function by running that block of code. And so functions made it easier to do the same thing to different values because instead of having to write this line over and over again, we could say, let's estimate the mass if the volume is 1.6. Let's estimate the mass if the volume is 5.6, and so on. But if we have more than a few volumes. This is tedious. It's also still error prone because we've got to type in these values one at a time. And it becomes impossible if we have a sufficiently large number of volumes to do calculations on. Fortunately, there are multiple ways to do something repeatedly in R. And we're going to talk about all of them, or at least all of the most common ones, over the next several lessons. And in particular, we're going to talk about four approaches to repeating things in R. The first is to vectorize them. And so in this case, we will write functions that take a vector of values, do element-wise calculations to each of those values, and return a vector of results. We'll then look at using apply or map functions, which take a function as an argument and a vector of values, and it applies that function to each of those values uh, and returns the result. We'll also look at combining our own functions with dplyr. Uh, and the tools that we've learned to use there. And we can do this using both vectorized and non-vectorized functions. And finally, we'll learn about loops, which will provide us with complete control to perform any kind of repetition that we want, but will come with some additional complexity as a result. So that's what we'll be working on over the next few lessons is learning about how to repeat things in R in a variety of different ways. And that, everyone, is why you always do a recording check before you start recording.